Hello, this is Jeff Johnson, creator of Fingers Gestures. I just recently added a joystick script that works real great with the pan gesture. I'd like to demo that for you now, show you how it works. I've got the demo scene joystick running here. It has a canvas with a joystick and a mover object. The mover is the square here. The joystick's in the bottom left. Uh, just a side note, the canvas needs to be screen space overlay. And the canvas also contains the demo script that reads in the joystick input and applies move, movement to this image here. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the joystick script. You've got fingers joystick, joystick script here. Uh, you need to set an image, which is the joystick. I've just used Unity's knob image, but I bet you could find a much nicer looking joystick than that. We've got joystick power, which controls how quickly the joystick uh, moves to full speed as you move it further away. As this number increases, you have to push the joystick further to the edge in order to get full movement. Max extent percent determines how far the joystick moves as a percentage of width plus height. And I'll show you these in action now. Let's go ahead and click the joystick and move it. You'll notice that the square is not moving much yet and that as I move to the extent if the square picks up to full speed. So this gives the player a lot of fine control in how they move the joystick and how the speed is applied to their character. I'm going to go ahead and ratchet joystick power down to a really low value. This basically means that the joystick is going to go to full speed even with just a tiny little bit of movement. You can see that I'm barely dragging it at all and the square is moving at full speed. On the reverse of that, all the way to 10, you'll see that the square is not really moving until I get all the way to the extent, and now it's moving. So depending on your gameplay mechanics, you can play with these parameters to get the joystick that you want. Go ahead and put that back to the default. Okay, max extent percent uh, just controls how far the joystick moves as a percentage of width and height. So let's lower it all the way down. You'll notice by doing that, the joystick doesn't really move at all because that's such a tiny value. That may be what you want, but probably not. So you probably want to raise that up a little bit more. Now the higher you go, the further the joystick can move. So this one's going to be moving a little bit out of bounds. So depending on your screen size, you're going to want to tweak this to be a certain percentage. Um, that's about all there is to it. This is a really simple script, easy to integrate. Just drop the joystick script onto a, an image object in your canvas and assign that image. And there's one, one simple callback to hook into, so I'll show you that. You can see this demo script is really tiny. There's not a whole lot to it. I've got a reference to that joystick script. I've got the mover, which is the square, and then I've assigned a speed, which is how fast I want it to move. Uh, I ex assign a callback to joystick script joystick executed to this function here, which contains two parameters, the joystick script and the vector to amount, which is x and y of negative one to one for both. First thing I do is I get the transform of that square. I apply movement to the square by the amount of the joystick moved uh, times the speed here times time dot delta time since the speed here is units per second. And then I simply apply the transform. That's all there is to using the joystick and fingers. Please email me at support at digitalruby.com if you have any questions and please watch for updates for this asset as I'll be adding a d-pad in the next coming weeks. Thanks so much everybody.